and it's my honor now to invite Ms. Amy Frankel, Executive Secretary, Secretariat of the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals. You have the floor. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, excellencies, distinguished delegates, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to speak on behalf of the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals, CMS, at this high level meeting that marks the 50th anniversary of the United Nations Environment Program. UNEP at 50 is a time to reflect on and celebrate 50 years of efforts all over the world to tackle pollution and the destruction of nature. The Stockholm Conference in 1972 was one of those extraordinary moments whose time had come. Not only did it lead to the establishment of UNEP, but to environmental laws and the creation of environmental agencies within national governments. Yet few people in this room may know that at Stockholm, governments called for a treaty to protect migratory wildlife, which led to the adoption of CMS in 1979. The convention has now grown to include 133 parties with the Kingdom of Bahrain joining on 1st March this year. Today, CMS provides an effective means for governments and partners to work together on the conservation of migratory species and their habitats at the transboundary, regional and international levels, as well as to address the threats to species protected by CMS. Migratory species are an integral part of nature and healthy ecosystems. You cannot have ecosystems without species, and you cannot have migratory species without, without healthy ecosystems. Migratory species provide important functions, such as pest control, pollination, and seed dispersal. They also contribute to food security, livelihoods, and jobs. Some migratory species, such as the forest elephant, provides carbon sequestration worth millions of dollars. Yet as the IPBES Global Assessment confirmed, we are losing wild species of animals at an unprecedented rate. Perhaps not surprisingly, the two biggest threats to migratory species are the same as those that increase the risk of zoonotic diseases, habitat destruction and fragmentation and over exploitation. Migratory species are a good indicator of the state of our natural world. And unfortunately, it is not well. Despite many achievements, we continue to undervalue and thus destroy the nature that sustains us. Stockholm told us what needed to be done and it's up to all of us to deliver. We look forward to continuing to work closely with UNEP, other UN entities, MEAs, and all member states and stakeholders to help address these challenging environmental issues of our time. Thank you very much.